seated in the auditorium are family and friends who have, in many different ways, supported these candidates to reach the goal represented by this ceremony. And on the platform are the college faculty and staff who've motivated, encouraged, and inspired these students as they completed their coursework and their college experience. And of course, before us are the candidates for graduation who've become good friends, mentors, and colleagues, developing lifelong relationships that will serve them well as they move into the future together. We join them as members of an extended support network to celebrate our involvement with these candidates and to witness their accomplishment. That celebration now begins. Presiding over this commencement ceremony is the president of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, Dr. Davy Jane Gilmore. Dr. Gilmore. Good afternoon. Before I begin with my official welcome, I need to get some housekeeping straight. First of all, this is the time when in um, normal commencement ceremonies, you'd be asked to put away your phone, turn it off, make sure it's silenced, and observe the reverence of the ceremony. We're gonna do things different because this is Penn College. <laughs> of course. The, cer the ceremony is reverent, and we would like to, you to respect it. So the beach balls need to be kept quiet while we're speaking names and we're conducting the formal part of the ceremony. Otherwise, we'll let you know when we can toss the beach balls. Second of all, get your phones out. This is a time of celebration. So we want you to post on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, because this is Pennsylvania College of Technology, remember? And it's hashtag PCT grad, and so I thought I'd be the first one today to take the picture. Thank you. And now to the formal welcome. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the spring commencement ceremonies at the Pennsylvania College of Technology. It gives me a great deal of happiness to say the word spring. Most of us were not sorry to see the departure, as delayed as it was, of that season that I will not say the name of. It makes me even happier to speak on behalf of the college's administration, the faculty, and the staff. The class of 2015's other family these past few years. It is with considerable pride that we look on all of you today, surely not as dotingly as your parents, your spouses, or your friends, but with sincere interest in your arrival thus far and with genuine curiosity about what lies ahead for you. This is the time, you know, when we check the ledger and we realize that we've kept a bargain with each other. You have given us your attention and your persistence, your dedication and your hard work, and we have given you the tools to fashion your way through an exciting new world. I expect the next few hours are going to be hectic, but in this brief hour of window between your career preparedness and your actual careers, I hope you find time to honor your achievement. Your Penn College years have not been without challenge financial challenge, emotional challenge, and personal hurdles, and unfortunately, the reality of which is those are just beginning as you graduate. I trust, though, that you are much better prepared now, and you will conquer them. You will use your new tools as in your arsenal and the same excitement and confidence that I saw when I met you at Connections. Alongside your family's encouragement, this college's guiding hand, you have accomplished something truly wonderful. With many of your faculty supporters seated behind me and with, with well-wishers all around you, please acknowledge the role that these people have played in your success. But today, I want to ask you to take a few minutes in between the hugs and the celebration, because you could not have done this without you. It's important that you think about that as the day moves forward. To each of the students who will leave here today, I give you my best wishes for a happy and rewarding future. And to the loved ones on hand to witness this magical transformation, I welcome you all to this magnificent celebration in the Community Arts Center. Thank you very much. I'd like to now introduce Mr. Elliot Strickland, Chief Student Affairs Officer.
President Gilmore, Mr. Johnson, Provost Starkey, distinguished faculty and staff, family, friends, and most importantly, the May 2015 graduating class. It is my pleasure this afternoon to introduce your student commencement speaker, Bethany Reppert. As President, as President Gilmore said earlier, this truly is a great time at Penn College. We have so many students that accomplish so much and leave an indelible mark on our campus community. Though I'm not sure if there are others who have been more selfless about their work than Bethany. The most common reoccurring theme when you talk to faculty, staff, and students about Bethany is how hard she works for others, especially those that are, in our marginal, that are marginalized in our community. She has served as both president and secretary of Students Making a Contribution, known as SMAC on campus, our campus club that benefits local nonprofit organizations in the campus community. She was co-founder and vice president of a new club on campus, College Women of Williamsport, which is focused on educating, empowering, and inspiring women at Penn College and Lycoming College. She interned at the James V. Brown Library, where she developed, organized, and implemented a free self-defense workshop for women. She served on the Student Government Association Restructure Committee, and she was an active member of Penn College Alliance, our LGBTQA organization. In her free time, Bethany helped coordinate spring break trips with fellow college students to New York City for Habitat for Humanity, coordinate teams for the annual Out of Darkness Suicide Prevention Walk, plan our annual spring uh, Riverwalk cleanup, hold troop on, coupon drives for military families, worked at Christ because, uh, Episcopal Soup Kitchen, and on and on and on. And if that weren't enough, she has worked in the Madigan Library as an Access Services student assistant and served as a human service peer mentor, providing assistance to incoming human services majors. Bethany's strong academic achievement and attention to detail are also evident in her constant status on the Dean's List, her Alpha Chi Honor Society membership, and her 3.93 GPA. In case you do the math, that means she earned only one B in her time at Penn College, and you know who you are. <laughs> Last night, Bethany received the President's Award for Leadership and Service to the College, uh, and today she will graduate summa cum laude with her Bachelor of Science in Applied Human Services. Please welcome your 2015 student commencement speaker, Ms. Bethany M. Reppert. Most important things first. <clears throat> okay, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much, Elliot, for that beautiful introduction. I am incredibly honored and more than a little nervous to be the speaker chosen to represent this class of 2015 graduates. When I first got to Penn College as a transfer student in 2012, I thought I knew what the school had in store for me. My plan was to fly under the radar, finish up my degree, and move on. But by nature of my being up here and from everything that Elliot just said, you can guess that that did not happen. Um, it's an underestimation to say it, but I learned a lot while I was at Penn College. And I could talk about what happened in the past forever. But right now, I want to talk to you, my fellow graduates, about what will happen in the future. Most of you don't know me, and I don't know you but it's very safe to say it that we're all in the same boat without paddle. <laughs> the next few months are gonna be awful. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna miss the free bus rides, discounted appetizers, and the late nights in the campus center. No more picking your own schedule that lets you sleep until noon. <clears throat> for the past two, four, or more years, this campus has been a home away from home for all of us. I don't know if all of you remember, but I remember the first day I came to campus. And I'm sure whether you were 17 or 47, you felt like a little fish in a big pond, because I know I did. Now our last day is here, and we're all the catch of the day. And if you'll allow me to say it, we're out of the frying pan and into the fire. In the next few months, you'll have days that are so bad that you'll want to come back and be begged to be let in for another semester. The immediate future will be hard for a number of reasons, but here's the good news. 
Every day between now and your last day on earth is an opportunity for you to be amazing. I want you to all walk out of here and start being your own heroes. You don't need a cape or tights or a mask. You just need brains in your head and feet in your shoes. Let your diploma be a constant reminder of your superpower, which is the power to make choices. Let it remind you that in the end, the only person who can make your dreams a reality is you. You, can, you all chose to come to this campus for a reason, and you didn't get here today by spending every day sitting around and wishing, wishing you would graduate. I'm challenging you to do more than just exist in the world and go through the motions that people tell you to do. With that, all that being said, things aren't going to go your way all the time. You probably know that by now. <laughs> You'll definitely have days when you feel like you're taking five steps back, five steps forward and three steps back. But when you want to quit, the, most, the best thing you can do is keep moving forward. You all know that even the little progress you make every day adds up in the end. And if you didn't know that, you wouldn't be here. <clears throat> and then to all of our families in the audience who are our sidekicks, we know that you're all riding the same roller coaster of emotion that we are. The next few months and years are going to be hard on you too. You might find yourself with a big empty nest and the feeling that you're unemployed, but it's okay. While we're out in the big bad world, there are going to be things that we face that we don't expect and you probably won't expect either. But we all know that you'll be right along with us as you have been for our entire lives and our entire college careers. There are things that you need to hear from us as students that in the excitement of the day we may forget. So I'm going to say them now on behalf of your students just in case they do forget. To my family and to all the relatives of the gradu graduates in the audience, thank you. We love you, we appreciate you, and we are so grateful for everything you've done for us. On behalf of the graduates, I also extend thanks to our professors and the administrators of the college. When you see the next class come in and they can't seem to find their way out of a paper bag with a map, we ask that you treat them with as much love and kindness as you did for us. You saw the potential in each of us that we didn't see in ourselves and we would not be here today without your support and encouragement. Thank you for letting us cry to you way past your office hours and for answering our emails at two in the morning, for always keeping your candy jars stocked. And especially to my human services professors, thank you for restoring my faith in humanity and for always encouraging me to follow the golden rule. Without your guidance, I would not be the person I am today, and I would definitely not be up here without your recommendations. And finally, to all of you, graduates, parents, professors, and everyone in attendance that's disguising themselves as a responsible adult. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to share my thoughts with you today. I feel incredibly, incredibly lucky to have been a part of something that makes saying goodbye so hard. If there's one thing you take away from what I've said, please let it be this. Always be your own hero and don't wait for change to happen. Make it happen. Congratulations and thank you. Well done. This is the last of our three commencement ceremonies this weekend. And in addition to celebrating our amazing class of 2015, we have taken time to honor a select group of faculty and alumni. I'd like to share with you that information. Yesterday afternoon, we presented the Volunteer of the Year Award to Adam J. Yoder, a 2011 graduate in building automation technology who frequently returns to campus in the service of his alma mater and for both current and future students. We also saluted Barbara and Joe Reynolds, graduates in diesel mechanics and nursing, with this year's Humanitarian and Citizenship Award in recognition of their life-changing involvement with the American Cancer Society. We presented the Alumni Mentorship Award this morning to Michael K. Patterson, a member of our welding faculty, with particular pride in his coordination of student bodies, the art installation through the heart of our campus. We also uh, honored excellence in teaching during Friday's ceremony to Chef Charles R. Niedermeyer, the instructor in baking and pastry arts and culinary arts. And this morning saw two excellence in teaching awards, one honoring John Upcraft, 
instructor in machine tool technology and automated manufacturing, and Roy Klinger, collision repair instructor. Please join me in recognizing these exemplary members of the Penn College family and alumni communities. And I encourage you to visit PC today later this weekend to see more about our honorees. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, as many of you know, the legal corporate body of the Pennsylvania College of Technology is our board of directors. This is the body that by our charter is given final responsibility for our governance, welfare, and all other interests pertaining to the college. Though some of those responsibilities are delegated, ultimate authority rests with the board. At this time, I'd like to call upon Mr. Steve Johnson, a member of our board of directors, to authorize the conferring of the degrees at this ceremony. Mr. Johnson. Thank you, Dr. Starkey. And on behalf of the Board of Directors, our special congratulations to each of the honorees that Dr. Gilmore mentioned. And a special uh, congratulations and thank you uh, to the wonderful remarks uh, made by Bethany. Well done. This is a very special occasion for all of you. The degrees awarded have come from hard work, from the guidance and wisdom of the faculty, and from strong support from your family and friends. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I extend to all the graduates our congratulations and best wishes. And to all the supporting family members, the faculty, and friends, I extend our thanks for your support as well. Now I turn to my official duty. Dr. Gilmore, by virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Directors, of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, I authorize you on behalf of the board to confer on each of these candidates the, the degree earned as certified by the appropriate school dean. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree please rise? Dr. Gilmore, upon recommendation of the faculty, I'm pleased to inform you that these women and men have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, I do hereby confer upon you the Bachelor of Science degrees that you have earned with all of the rights and privileges and with congratulations from the Board of Directors, the faculty, and the administration. Congratulations. Please be seated. Will the candidates for all associate degrees and certificates please rise? <laughs> Dr. Gilmore, upon recommendation of the faculty, I'm pleased to inform you that these men and women have satisfactorily completed the requirements for their respective associate degrees and certificates. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, I do hereby convey upon you the associate degrees and certificates that you have earned with all of the rights and privileges and with congratulations from the Board of Directors, the faculty, and the administration. Congratulations. Now, would you remain standing and would the baccalaureate graduates please stand up as well? Ladies and gentlemen, you entered this theater as candidates for the degrees that you have earned. Just moments ago, it was my honor to confer those degrees upon you. As a symbol of your entry into the world of educated women and men, I ask you to turn your tassel as I do that for your class representative. This will symbolize to the world that you are now, in fact, graduates of the Pennsylvania College of Technology.
You may be seated. As individuals and institutions, we all pass through stages of development, points in time where we grow into new roles and new responsibilities. This ceremony is a transition event for everyone. Today, we will recognize academic achievement and academic honors. Outstanding achievement will be recognized for all students. The gold, silver, and white cords worn by students will recognize their academic success. White for honors, silver for high honors, and gold for highest honors. Blue cords will identify academic achievement for, for certificate students. And in addition, we are pleased to recognize the graduates who are members of Phi Theta Kappa. Their gold stoles and gold tassels will identify them. And we are also pleased to recognize the graduates of the Alpha Chi Honor Society. White stoles will identify those students. We would now like to recognize our veterans, identified by their red, white, and blue cords, who are graduating today. So I would ask those who have served in, act, uh, served in the military, as well as currently serving on active duty or in some form of the military, to please rise. We'd like to recognize our veteran students. If you would remain standing, No, you have to stand up again. <laughs> That's good. Because I want to tell you all a little bit about our veteran students. Our veteran students have earned three Purple Hearts, seven Bronze Stars, 61 Iraq Campaign Medals, and 44 Afghanistan Campaign Medals. We are very proud of our students at Penn College. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, Dr. Carolyn Strickland, the Vice President for Enrollment Management and Associate Provost, will assist in the awarding of degrees. I would ask you to keep the area in front of our official photographer available. Otherwise, you're welcome to come down and capture the photographs that you would like. And with that, our ceremony begins. Thank you. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of dental hygiene within the School of Health Sciences. Morgan Ashley Atherton. Morgan Ashley Atherton. Sarah Elizabeth Boyer. <laughs> Carrie Ann Boyle. Brittany Nicole Hall. Barbara Amanda Hansen. <laughs> Carolyn Marie Hay. <laughs> Haley Patricia Kaufman. <laughs> Mackenzie B. Knable. <laughs> Christina I. Coveton. <laughs> Savannah M. Kravanyak. Alicia, <laughs> Alicia Ann Maines. <laughs> Paige T. Messinger. <laughs> Chelsea Elizabeth Miller. <laughs> Moberg. Hmm? Morgan Elizabeth Reed Moberg. Brittany L. Newgard. Haley. Haley Nicole Perry. Yeah. Say it again. 
Nicolette Marie Petronani. Petronani? Mm -hmm. Nicolette Marie Petronani. Yeah. Nicolette Marie Petronani. Emily? Emily L. Reed. Holly Elizabeth Steyer. Rebecca Faith Thompson. Ashley A. Totten. Brittany Lynn Yurosky. Sherry Lynn Volker. Chelsea Brooke Warner. Michaela Lynn Wagoda. Wise. Aaron T. Wise. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of physical fitness specialists within the School of Health Sciences. Sage Michaela Bumbarger. Stuart J. Cook. Rebecca Grace Fiddler. Roberto Garcia, Jr. Miriam Brooke Raquel Hostetter. Miriam Brooke Raquel Hostetter. Danilo Portugal. Danilo Portugal. Mm -hmm. Danilo S. Portugal. Uh, Ryman. Ryman. Mm -hmm. Dalton Alexander Ryman. Elissa. Elissa Nicole Stanton. Erica Nicole Snyder. Marie Elaine Viani. President Gilmore, I'm proud to present the graduates of Health Information Management, Health Information Technology, and Health Information Coding Specialists within the School of Health Sciences. Courtney Lynn Hess. Jessica Marie Hoffman. Jessica Audrey Long. Anna M. Reynolds. Travellini. Travellini. Yes. Joseph Paul Travellini. Elise. Yes. Carrie Elise Wolf. Arissa Joe Dibert. Amanda M. Gingrich. Brittany Sue Gingrich. Nicole Elizabeth Hazzy. Nathan Andrew Lehman. Adeline Lyra Smith. Nicole Lynn Smith. Molly Elizabeth Stanish. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of the Bachelor of Science degree in Applied Health Studies within the School of Health Sciences. Thank you. Sarah Lorraine Bensinger. <laughs> Casey Freese Davis. Danielle Marnotti. Danielle A. Marnotti. <laughs> President Gilmore, I am so proud to introduce the graduates from the School of Health Science earning associate and bachelor's degrees in nursing. Thank you. Thank you. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Judith Ann Rao. Honorman. Casey Sue Ammerman. 
Robert Joel Brooks. April May Brought. Julie Helen Carr. Shannon Marie Claggett. Tasha K. Davis. Dara R. Guja. Herzog. Courtney Elizabeth Herzog. Hiya. Hiya. Brielle. Kendall Brielle Heyer. Leanne S. Kanesbauer. Nicole Elizabeth Lipinski. John, John P. Marshallak. Megan N. McAllister. Shelby A. Morden. Fallon Brooke Nat. Erica Ray Nolan. Robert Jess Rouse Jr. Samantha Joe Arnold. Ramon Byler. Kaylee Taylor Marie Bell. Casey Nicole Brewer. Jordan E. Brininger. Jessica A. Brobst. Benjamin D. Burns. Madeline Casilla. Megan Lynn Emanuelson. Alicia Renee Emery. Miranda Sue Fink. Ross Michael Fisher. Michelle D. Heckman. Danielle Marie Henninger. Tara Marie Higley. Trevor Joseph Hiller. Ilgen. Zachary Kurt Ilgen. Margarita V. Ivankina. Ashley D. Jandrzejewicz. Felicia Renee Krop. Jordana Celeste Lozier. Jordana Celeste Lozier. Duncan Ted Maitland. Ashley L. Marino. Rebecca Lynn Meyer. Pamela Ann Nimzik. Kira Lynn Rocky. Carla M. Rodriguez. Rubendahl. Jessica L. Rubendahl. Alicia M. Sanders. Schaefer? Yes. Lee? Yes. Dana Lee Schaefer. 
Ian Matthew Smith. Christopher James Steinbacher. Caitlin Rane Stump. Angela L. Walters. Casey Lynn Weaver. Savannah D. Williams. Chelsea Ray Zeckman. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of Graphic Design, Industrial and Human Factors Design, Advertising Art within the School of Sciences, Humanities, and Visual Communications. Laura A. Bacharach. <laughs> Angela Marie Card. Courtney Louise Garnett. Courtney Louise Gernert. Brody W. Gray. Erica M. Hoover. Catherine M. Jacanetta. Morgan T. Jennings. Caitlin A. Klein. Caitlin Marie Lackey. Anthony Paul Levan Jr. Ashley Nicole Smith. Amanda Marie Steigerwalt. Nicholas Joseph Krupka. Michael Robert Perkins. Benjamin D. Rubenstein. Jordan C. Knott. Lauren Melissa Nywenning. President Gilmore, I'm proud to announce the graduates of the Individual Studies and General Studies within the School of Sciences, Humanities, and Visual Communications. Christopher Callahan Dillon. Elena G. Stone. Go ahead. Bradley S. Fuller. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of Applied Human Services, Human Services, and Early Childhood Education from the School of Sciences, Humanities, and Visual Communications. Alicia M. Bedford. <laughs> Amy Jane Glace. Andrea K. Grande. Jordan Elizabeth Highland. Mosteller. Tyler Robert Joseph Mosteller. <laughs> Catherine E. Mingle. <laughs> Brittany Lynn Onmanis. <laughs> Nicole M. Saylor. Amy. Amy S. Whitmer. Sydney Catherine Allen. Kendra Yvonne Domino. Pamela Diana Hartman. Hennessy. Ashley Lynn Hennessy. Alyssa. Mm -hmm. Alyssa J. Jordan. Mm -hmm. 
Gabrielle Lene Kenzie. Megan Marie Lighty. You want the June? Yeah, that's fine. Haley Jean Liberty. Casey Lee Mosser. How do you say that? Shrekengost. Ashley Marie Shrekengost. Caitlin N. Sides. Nicole Catherine Thompson. Megan, yes. Megan Nicole Watson. Brittany Eveline Goldinger. Lori A. Hutchinson. Lori A. Hutchinson. Angelina Kunkel. Angelina Marie Kunkel. Jerry Lynn Stryker. Annie Mulwolf. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of the Associate and Bachelor Degree Paralegal Programs from the School of Sciences, Humanities, and Visual Communications. Dolly Archita Patel. Chelsea Lynn Ray. Christine M. True. You want me to say Lynn? Yeah. Amity Lynn Day. <laughs> Kayla M. Leininger. <laughs> Calvin Fremont Phillips III. Deanna Ray Shannon. Gianfranco. 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 Mm -hmm. Gianfranco Valdez. President Gilmore, we saved the best for last. I present the graduates of web and interactive media within the School of Sciences, Humanities, and Visual Communications. Andrew G. Martin Bailey. Jenks. Brian Lee Jenks, Jr. McGregor Knauer. Yes. Matthew George Knauer. Oh, Brian. <laughs> Jordan Ashley Namesman. Jordan Ashley Namesman. Mikis Putenis? Yeah. Mikis A. Putenis. James Harlan Schwemmer? Yes. James Harlan Schwemmer. Sebasovich. Sebasovich? Yeah. Jeffrey C. Sebasovich. Bethany M. Rapper was fun. Bethany M. Rapper? Yes. And Bethany M. Rapper. <laughs> As you well know, your connection to Penn College does not end today. You officially, as we gave you your diploma, become members of the Penn College Alumni Association. That's important to us because we want to keep in touch with you. We want you to know what's going on on campus, and most importantly, we want to hear what's going on in your lives. We have no doubt that you'll be successful, and we love nothing more than to hear about that success. So keep in touch with alumni, keep your information current, You'll hear from them, and of course I know the best place for us to hear about everything is Facebook, of course. 
in about six months, you'll also get a graduate survey, and that survey is really important to us as well, so I would ask you to take time to fill that out and let us know how you're doing. Now, this is an important two minutes, and I promise it'll be less than two minutes when we'll let you go out into the world and do some celebrating. But I have a pretty amazing opportunity to be the last person to talk to you on behalf of everyone at Penn College to say thank you and to say goodbye. So for the next minute or so, minute and a half now, I'd ask you to pretend that it's just us and nobody else around us. You know, this morning I got up and I had to stop at the store and buy a graduation card. I'm going to my fourth graduation tomorrow at Bucknell University where my goddaughter is graduating. However, I will not be shaking what is now 833 hands. <laughs> However, an interesting thing happened to me at the store this morning. I was going about my business to find the graduation card that I thought conveyed my sentiment of pride and satisfaction and encouragement. And these two women were standing there shopping for cards, and one of them said to me, you had graduation last night. I said, yes, I did. And she said, and so you're done? And I said, no, we have two more today. She said, and then you're done? And I said, well, we're done for May, but then we have one in August and we have one in December. And clearly I thought, oh, they saw the newspaper. <laughs> they know we're finished for yesterday. So she kept looking at the cards and she looked up at me and she said, I just want you to know, we know who you are. <laughs> so I, I, I said, thank you. I wasn't quite sure what else to say. And I went about my business, self-checked out flawlessly, which is a rare occurrence, and um, came to the Community Arts Center. But as I was driving here today, I thought about it. We know who you are. And if I could go back and visit them now, I'd say, I'm the luckiest person in the world because I have the opportunity to say goodbye to you on behalf of all of the people behind me and the countless people who have helped you along the way. You leave here today as academic scholars. You leave here today as athletes. You leave here today as volunteers. And most of all, you leave here as Penn College graduates. You get a new chapter in your life starting tomorrow. It's not a do-over, it's a new chapter. Not everybody gets that. Not everybody has the opportunity to start a new chapter. But we have had the opportunity to share with you the skills and abilities that I'm pretty confident your new chapter is going to be awesome. If you know me well, all around my office are quotes. So there's this one that says, you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. It's a pretty awesome quote in my mind because if you only do it once and you do it right that one time, you don't need more time. So as any good academic and the English faculty behind me would say, I hope she looked up who said that. And I did. I don't expect anybody in the middle in a gown to know who this is, but much to my surprise, the origin of this quote is Mae West. Now, for those of you far too young to know who Mae West is, including me, I, it's far too young. Um, <laughs> Mae West was an actress, she was a screenwriter, she was a director, she was a pretty interesting woman in history, let's just leave it at that. But I think what's so exciting is that never did I dream that she would say something like this. So never will we yet dream of the kinds of things that you will do, I have no doubt that we will read about you and learn about you. You have incredible time in front of you to take advantage of your Penn College education. And so I know who I am. I'm the luckiest lady in the world today to get to say this to you. Thank you for making our lives better. Thank you for taking time to be a part of what we do and be a part of the next 100 years of our history. And most importantly, please go out in the world today and make us Penn College proud. Thank you. I invite those who are able to stand.
Gentlemen, please remove your caps, and everyone to join in the singing of the Penn College alma mater. The words may be found on page two of your program. Yes, please. 